All right, what is up guys? I'm sure many of you have been waiting on this video because I've promised it for like four days now saying I'm going to upload it tomorrow, but here we are. I'm finally deciding to do it. This will be uh, a tier list slash an overall talk on the meta. And uh, there's no game. I mean, I don't know. I might put gameplay up later after I finish the tier list. But for now, there's just a tier list thing on the screen. So look in it every now and then if you want. Skip to the end if you want to see just the tier list and not listen to my ranting. However, that's how it's going to be. So uh, the new we have a new meta. Um, it's definitely shaped up a bit differently than I feel like most people would have expected. I think there are some things that are very good right now that most people don't think are very good. And not really much that's bad. I mean, there's definitely some things that are worse, but nothing's, like, surprisingly bad. Like, Warlock's still bad. There's nothing, you know, new about that. But to start off with, uh, as always, I'm probably going to try to start from the top and go to the bottom. And <laughs> no surprise here, please nerf Wizard. Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty obvious. Uh, they R Wizard was already really, really strong last patch before the wipe. They decided to buff them. So, I mean, it's kind of natural. They're just going to keep going up to the point where they are beyond broken. And it wasn't even like they got a small buff either. They rebuffed Magic Missile to 100% scaling, which is a really big difference. Because the one place Wizards are weak was if you close the distance on them, they didn't really have any reliable spells that could hit you with to kill you. Sure, they could slow you and try to peel you, uh, peel you off of them. However, they couldn't really kill you. If they cast a Magic Missile, it was they weren't going to out-DPS you. Now, that's not the case. Now, if you get on top of a Wizard and they Magic Missile you, they will probably out-DPS you. Unless you're a Rogue and you are going to two-shot them and you hit them before they hit you, that's like the only time. However, a fighter, a barbarian can, a barbarian can do it. Like a barbarian can kill them, but no one's really playing barbarian, but I'll get into that in a bit. A fight, but if you're a fighter and you get on top of a wizard, like, you know, you do the correct thing, you punish them for letting you, uh, letting you get close to them. They fucked up their spells and now you're on top of them. So now you should be able to kill them. Nope. Magic missile, about four or five and you're dead. And you know, if a, if a, a geared wizard pumps out four or five magic missiles, very very fast the only way you could kill them is if you one shot them with like a headshot that's not reliable because any intelligent wizard is going to build hp so that's one thing another thing was they didn't put this in the patch notes however they rebuffed invisibility uh invisibility now no longer flickers you're no longer a strobe light we are back to just having the true invis that they nerfed before uh for some reason i don't know why I mean, I do know why. I was told that they did it because it was a temporary fix to buff ball, and now they're happy where buff ball at. Buff ball is at. They felt comfortable rebuffing it, which is incorrect in so many different, so many different ways. That is just not something that ever should have happened. Wizards are now back to having a get out of jail free card, so it's hard to even get on top of them. And assuming you do, then you know you have to deal with magic missile. But it's now it's very hard to catch them. Wizards are just beyond broken, and then. Two more things, you know, because we're not done yet. Third, they got a new spell. Uh, it's called Explosion. If you don't know what it does or you haven't seen it used, pretty much it's a zap, except it sticks to you and then explodes after three seconds and does fireball damage. Uh, fireball, like, including the splash damage, fireball does a bit more, but just uh, one part of the damage. Fireball's direct damage is 25. Explosion's damage is 30. So it does a lot of damage it's pretty much it's close to a lightning strike in terms of how much damage it does and you can stick them to people you can stick multiple to people and they explode and they die and also it's a fire spell so it applies fire mastery uh and it does burn damage so it does even more damage which is just absolutely ridiculous the new op spell and thing is you don't even have to you don't even have to lock it to people you can kind of put it in like the air or put it on the ground or on a wall as zone control so people can't walk through it it's just it's ridiculous it's insane and then the last thing is kind of with how the stat changes have happened, most melee classes got uh, kind of nerfed. Uh, most melee classes aren't building as much HP anymore because they have way more stats in to build. It's not just strength, agility anymore. Now you have to build vigor, strength, agility, dexterity, depending on the class you're on. Rogues uh, want agility, dexterity, plus strength for damage. Uh, fighters and barbarians want uh, strength, uh, vigor, and agility. Dexterity, not as much. You can kind of skip out on that. Dexterity is not super important. However, the range classes, like Wizard, for example, they still have their two OP stats, Knowledge and Will, uh, and you don't really need Will that much at all. You just build Knowledge, and you build a ton of Vigor, and you build a bunch of HP. And this is also supplemented by the fact that a lot of um, new gear pieces have 
new stats when they like. For example, chess pieces that have flat HP, uh, vigor, strength, all that type of gear. And, and we have the int uh, introduction of knowledge rings. We have knowledge rings uh, and capes. So that's even more uh, stats they can build that they want without like really having to sacrifice anything. Overall, wizards are just in a ridiculously OP position right now. I mean, I'm... I can't believe that they ever decided to buff them. Like, seeing the wizard buffs, and when I found out that the invis was rebuffed, I was just in, like, genuine disbelief at how out of touch they are with their game's balance. Because any intelligent player will tell you that wizard was already one of the best characters in the game, if not the best. They were the only character that came close to wizard last patch was cleric, and we know, all know about cleric. Like, there's nothing new, there's nothing new about how good cleric is. It's just, and then they decided to buff it. And it's like, what? Like, but why though? But why? And my big thing is, you know, if any of these buffs, any of these changes to Wizard individually would have been enough to make it way better, but we got several of them at once. Specifically, Magic Missile and Invisibility at the same time. If you don't know why that's an issue, just go watch any. Ken Kenobi or Jay Griffia highlight reel from like PT3, PT4 of them 1v3 invising behind people. Poo, 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 poo. Magic missile instant deleting teams. That is why it's an issue. And that's that's the exact meta we are about to be uh, in again. I was literally playing with Jay yesterday and he did that to people. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice to see. Very cool. The 90 year old man in the dungeon can sprint up behind me and instant nuke me with a magic missile. But all right, that's pretty much it for wizard. Like I said, it's... Pretty definitively the best class in the game. I don't think anyone's going to disagree there. Uh, ridiculous damage, safety, support, anti-heal really does it all. Like, sure, your class is squishy, but the chances you're ever going to be in a position where you're going to die, like, without at least taking a person with you, is slim to none as long as you're positioned, like, half intelligently. All right, next character. Uh, we have Cleric. Cleric is very, very strong. I mean, once again, nothing new here. Oh, excuse me, let me get a drink. I just woke up. Mm. Ah, there we go, that's good. But, like I said, nothing new here. Only healer class in the game. Provides, you know, the best utility possible. Keeping your team alive. Res, Earthquake, Protection, Lesser Heal, uh, Holy Light, all that good stuff. Pretty much, I mean, I could, I mean, I, you know, I, everything I would say about Cleric right now, I've said about 30 other videos. Like I said, there's really nothing special about Cleric right now. They just kind of do the same thing they've always done. And what they've always done is a very important in the meta. You pretty much, you don't absolutely need a cleric, but you definitely want one. If you don't have one, you feel pretty bad. Uh, so really, like I said, not much change here. You still build all the same stuff, use all the same spells. Cleric's cleric, what can I say? How it is. All right, uh, so it's kind of hard to tell what I think the next best character is. I think the frontline characters are relatively weak. I think Barbarian's actually probably, I said that and then I put Barbarian here. I think Barbarian is very, very strong. Now listen, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I already can hear the comments saying, no, Barbarian sucks, man, no one's playing it. Listen, yes, no one is playing Barbarian yet, but just consider, look at the two best characters we have. We have Cleric and Wizard, and we have Wizard's true invis back. Not to mention, Wizard's the best character in the game. Like I've said many, many times before, Barbarian is best when magic damage is strong, because Barbarian is the best thing to deal with magic damage. Sure, their stats can't be as high anymore, however, you can still get true invis on a team and one shot somebody with a warm all. And if that doesn't sound really good, I don't know what does. Not to mention, you really you have two choices of frontliners. You have Barbarian and you have Fighter. And Fighter sucks into this meta. So so obviously Barbarian's going to have to be the best frontliner. Like, that's just how it works. Like, if you're if the other frontliner sucks, and you but frontliners are absolutely necessary, you need a, you need a frontliner, Barbarian's better. Just kind of how it works. But anyways, Barbarian did see uh, quite a few nerfs this patch in terms of stats. Uh, the, the strength agility split really hurts, uh, all these, like, melee classes, Barbarian and Fighter in particular, because you really need HP, however you want move speed, but the thing is, you can kind of get by on not having move speed if you just build a very squishy build, build high agility, loose trousers, light foot boots, uh, that type of thing, because there's a ton of gear that you can build that gives you stats you want, uh, Viking helmet gives agility, uh, loose trousers gives agility, padded tuning for strength, heavy boots for strength, or even light foots for, uh, move speed. So you can definitely get the stats you want on Barbarian. It's just much harder to do than before. However, I don't think it's that much of an issue. Like I said, maybe you'll be a little bit squishier than before. However, you're still going to one-tap people out of invis. You're still the best counter to wizards in the game. So, you know, Barbarians are just good right now. 
I don't think many people are playing them yet, but I think there's two reasons for that. I think one, people just haven't realized how good Barbarian is when you get geared and you get those stats you want and you play with an effective team comp. And by that, I mean buff ball. And two, I think people just don't want to play Barbarian. We've had to play Barbarian, like frontline players have had to play bar uh, Barbarian for so long. For like the past two months, it's basically only been Barbarian that you've had to play. Oh, I guess last patch we played a bit more fighter, but before that, and like the two wipes before that, it was pretty much 90% Barbarian, and people are just bored of it, man. No one wants to have to play this character anymore. And yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. I think something that's very shockingly good is Rogue. I think Rogue is really good. Honestly, I almost want to put Rogue in front of Barbarian. I almost want to do this. I think Rogue is really good right now. Like, really, really good. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Uh, Short Sword is very strong right now. They buffed it last uh, wipe. Short Sword got way better, so they have a really, really good source of damage. Uh, everybody's building less HP for the most part, except Wizards, but they kill Wizards very fast anyways. Everybody else is building less HP, and they're not as tanky, which is very good for Rogues. And one thing they did struggle with was killing tanks. However, now they don't really have that much of an issue with that. Honestly, you could even take Cutthroat to deal with Wizards, the uh, silent spell they have. Because if you get on one, you can't cast spells, you're going to kill him. And you can't Magic Missile you or anything. That could actually be a play. I haven't seen many Wizards or Rogues doing it. But that certainly could be a play. I think most are taking Rupture or Weak Point. But maybe that's a, maybe that's a correct thing to do. I don't know. I'll have to see about that. Anyways, I think Rogues are just incredibly good. Uh, Wizards aren't running Light Spell as much, and you, or uh, Light Orb as much, because you can't really regen it the same way. You don't have Clarities. Most people aren't playing with a Bard, because Bard is very weak right now. So it's really easy to be a Rogue. It's really easy to move around. Uh, and even playing, like, double, even double or even triple Rogue is very good, and you just run around until you find someone, and then you jump on one person, kill them, and run away. And then you just sit there and play Throwing Knives, uh, Rupture, all that type of stuff to prevent res, and it's just incredibly strong right now. Rogue is in the best spot it's been in a while, and I think you are kind of seeing that if you watch the certain uh, Rogue players. Think Retzi, think Repose, all those players are very, very good on Rogue, and they have very, very good results with Rogue. He said, I think Rogue is just very, very good. Uh, it like I said, it deals when it's one of the best uh, ways to actually kill a wizard, uh, because they have to be very careful around you. And if you're geared, you're gonna like two shot them, even if they have a lot of vigor. Like you're you're gonna kill them very fast. But like I said, other than that, not a whole lot to say. Still kind of the same thing. Also, the stat gear is really helpful for rogue. Uh, you can build way more stats than you could before on your old gear. Shadow mask gives plus all, which is great. You have jokester, which gives more plus all. So that's I think if you have a purple shadow mask and jokester, I think that's what plus four to all your all your uh, ats. So, very, very good. Then you have uh, other gear that's good. You know, like I said, heavy boots for strength, uh, padded tunic for strength, riveted gloves, all that stuff. I think they like building decks a lot, too, now for action speed. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't really play Rogue that much, and I don't really watch that many Rogue players. But I think that's good now, too. All right. Next up is Ranger. Uh, Ranger's solid. I don't think they're fantastic. I don't think they're weak. I think Ranger's probably, like, one of the more balanced classes in the game right now, which I know a lot of people cry about. I'm like, wham, Ranger's OP. No, they're not. You're just bad. Ranger is one of those characters that if you can avoid fighting him on his terms and where he wants to fight, this class becomes kind of a joke. If you fight, if you could uh, push Ranger to a closed-in corridor, like a doorway, that type of thing, and not fight them in long, open hallways, Ranger's very easy to deal with. It's really, really easy. Or if you have an effective frontline, like you have a fighter frontline for you, Ranger's very easy to deal with. They can't really do a lot of damage in fights because they have to uh, in closed-in fights because they can't really shoot past their teammates. They don't have uh, things like lightning strike like wizards do to get uh, through LOS. If they get ran at, they're very easy to kill. And even if they don't, uh, you can't kill them, they just kind of have to run away. So it's like, you know, they don't really get to do much. They die to most classes in the game. Wizards can kill them relatively easily with invis if they play correctly. Rogues can kill them very easy. Fighters kill them very easy. So the only thing Ranger's really good at is dealing with barbarians and clerics. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but they're not fantastic at that. Wizard does it better for the most part. Uh, they can slow uh, slow kite the barbarian. They can just insta kill wizard or cleric because cleric has nothing they can do to them. That type of thing. Uh, but the only reason I think Ranger's even this good is because Ranger is the best counter for uh, wizard in terms of DPS. But that's only that's very situational. It's only if you have a lot of uh, range between you and you have an open area to fight them in, which, like I said, it's hard to do. Or if you have bear traps down, however. <laughs> You can't buy bear traps anymore. You have to craft them, so that's not really a factor as much anymore because no one's crafting them. But other than that, I think Rangers just in an okay spot. I don't think they're super strong. I don't think they're super weak. Just kind of is what it is. But all right, moving on to the next character. I think we have Fighter. Uh, I think Fighter's a bit worse here in B tier. Fighter, once again, we are the product of the meta. Nothing has changed about this class, really. We even have a bug with dual wield right now, which allows it to work with shields. That makes you slightly better. However... 
if Wizard's the best character in the game, Fighter is going to be bad. That's just how it works. You get insta-killed by Wizard. They have things like... Normally, you could push them, but you can't now. They have things like Explosion. Uh, and you can't block. It'll stick to your shield and blow you up. Uh, Magic Missile, if you get on top of them. Your only play is to crossbow them, as people are so fond of saying. However, once again, if they're intelligent, they're never going to be in a position to do that. Invis, Haste, all that good stuff. Like, they're invisible for seven seconds. How do you crossbow somebody that's invis? You can't. Spoiler alert. You can't do it. It doesn't work that way. But anyways, uh, other, like I said, other than that, Fighter hasn't really changed much. Fighter's good against most things in the meta, other than Wizard. Like, against Cleric, it's okay. Against Barb, it's good. Ranger, it's good. Rogue, it's eh. Also, something that's really, uh, that's a bit weaker now about Fighter is, once again, the stat change. Also... The gear choice you want to optimize into for those stats is a lot squishier than normal. Think reinforced gloves, heavy leather legs, uh, rugged boots. All of those are squishier options. Dark plate, have to wear dark plate because it's the best chest piece. Uh, lower Moosey penalty, uh, high MR. And then Hound Skull, you can build Hound Skull. I've seen some go Chappelle. I think Hound Skull is really good on him. However, like I said, if you build all those choices, unless you have, and even with really, really good armor, your stats still aren't that high. You need a ton of vigor and a ton of strength to get a lot of HP. But other than that, Fighter's just, like I said, it's literally just because of how good Wizard is. Also, Fire Mastery is uh, fixed now, so it affects uh, second wind healing. So you're pretty much playing down a skill. That's 20% over 12 seconds. Like, nice, Keck W, bro. But other than that, not a whole lot to say. Pretty weak because of the meta. Uh, if Wizard sees nerfs, Fighter will naturally uh, rise again because nothing is, nothing is fundamentally flawed with Fighter as a class. However, it's literally just because how good Wizard is. Also, rogues can actually kill fighter now. It's actually really funny with weak, uh, weak point and their weapons. They, if they get a drop on fighter, they can kill the fighter. Just a little bit. All right, next we have Bard. See, this is actually really funny because this is the first patch that Bard players have said Bard is dead that they're actually not that wrong. <laughs> Bard is actually really, really weak right now. And the reason being is the stat requirement is so high to get what you want. You, because Bard is a class that already needed three stats. You already needed strength, agility, and knowledge, and even resourcefulness for your buff duration to an extent. Not as much, but slightly. But you already needed three stats because you needed HP and damage to like effectively play the game, other than just being a song, uh, like song bot. Uh, you needed agility, or I mean, would that say strength and agility? No, no, I think I said HP and damage. Yeah, you need agility because you need to move speed and action speed if you want to like you know get in fights, do something with a rapier, and then you need a knowledge for spell cap. Now you still need knowledge for spell cap. You still need move speed, you still need damage, you still need HP, and you still need, deck, you still need uh, like action speed. Well, now that's five stats you need, and that's not something you can build easily. I don't, I don't know. Bards don't have that many. Bards don't have any plus all gear. But anyways, yeah, they're just. It's really hard to get that gear. If you get that level of gear, they're definitely maybe not just as good as they were before, but they are definitely still good. Like if you know, this is Bard 99% of the time, and this is Bard whenever you have that like insane level of gear. Definitely not in. Definitely not great worse than cleric by a large margin and the point here is one of the reasons i think it's all the way down in b tiers you have to consider this in like the grand scheme of things right so let's say let's say i'm building a team come right and let's say i want to play bard okay i'm not playing without a cleric so that means i'm playing bard cleric and now my choice is i either play wizard because wizard's super op and every single person should have a wizard on their team no matter what your team comp is and if i play that then i'm playing no frontline and very low damage because my only damage is effectively wizard so then it's like okay so then i just play you know bard wizard and Okay, then I'm playing without a cleric, and I play like Barbarian a Fighter, and then I'm playing with no cleric. And playing with no cleric feels awful, because cleric's really good, and it's really nice for healing. So Bard just doesn't fit into a team company where, uh, like, you don't want to play it with cleric and wizard, because that feels way worse. If you, The only way that's even remotely good is for your buff balling cleric. However, I don't think that's that good anymore, and I wouldn't recommend doing it. Uh, the stat changes kind of hit cleric a lot. You don't have as much HP, you don't have as much agility or uh, action speed as you could before with all your gear. So... Overall, it's just because it's just not going to feel as good. But anyways, once you once you do get that really that that really high level of gear with Bard, it is playable because you do become like a pseudo damage dealer. You kind of become like a, something similar to a rogue that's less damage and less mobile. However, overall, just not that good right now. Really weak stat changes affect Bard the most. They just need too many stats right now to really be relevant. And then last but not least, we have Warlock. Did you wait, Helen? You can't really see that. I can let me pull this down a little bit. There you go. Okay, and last but not least, we have Warlock. Uh, it's... Also, keep in mind, this is a trios tier list. I'll put that in the title, but for anyone that didn't read the title, like, I know some people don't, I will put it in the 
I will I will say it now. It is a trios tier list. So the problem with Warlock is just it's just not good in a team setting. I mean, a Warlock's entire kit is just so grief for a team. Like spawning Hydra is like such a 50-50 on whether or not it shoots the enemy or shoots your teammates. And then if you take it just because like for a sustain thing, then you're just playing down a spell and you have no reliable damage. Your only damage is Curse of Pain and like Bolt of Darkness. And like, I mean, come on, bro. Like it's just like just play Wizard. It's like why play Warlock when you could just play Wizard? That is like really what it comes down to. The only thing Warlock has over Wizard is sustain. It can keep itself alive. But it's like who cares? When my wizard can keep us all alive by killing the enemy team. Like, I've never seen a warlock and been threatened. Even if they have blow of corruption, they're not that scary. Because, like, first of all, they have to go in the melee to do it, and you can block it. Or you can have your teammates kill them with range. So, like, warlock overall is just such a... Warlock's kit just is not good. Warlock's one of those characters that really would just need a rework to be good. And they're just not. Like, they're just they're just not good. It's just how it works. It's, it's a damn shame, truly. But that class is ass. It's got nothing going for it. Maybe in solos it's decent, but in trios it's so bad. I mean, I say nothing going for it. The only thing decent about Warlock is you have anti-push with your Hydra. Like, if you play a super range-heavy comp, like Warlock, Ranger, uh, Cleric, and you just kind of sit there and make sure, like, no one can ever push you, it's like, okay, but then what if you have to push into people? Like, then you're just playing a useless class that has no ability to push into anyone because you're, none of your spells are really that offensive. Like, you could slowly push up, push a Hydra into people, but, like, that's not... It's not really that good. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Warlock just sucks. It's grief and team. It's a grief and team modes. Okay, in solos, who cares? Overall, Warlock is that one character in the game that if somebody's like, "Hey, I want to play Warlock," I'm like, "Ah, okay, that's fine. Find someone to play with." I would, I would not play with the Warlock. I refuse. Like I've literally watched people play with Warlock, and they'll spawn the Hydra, and the Hydra just turns around and shoots like an ad behind them and like obliterates their teammate. I've, I've been on the receiving end of that, actually. But, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the individual class tier list. As for overall talks on the meta, I think this meta would be very, very balanced had they not buffed Wizard. I think ev I think Wizard arguably could have received some nerfs, and this game still could have been fine. I think if Wizard received, uh, I think if we get, like, one, I think we're going to get a Magic Missile nerf. They're going to nerf it back to 50%. Like, they, I don't, listen, okay, this is completely irrelevant. It's a tangent. Why the fuck? Don't they nerf things from 50 from to 75%? They've gone from 100% to 50%, back to 100%, back to 50%, like eight times. Do they not realize there are numbers in between 50 and 100? Do they not understand that 75% is the midway point between 50 and 100? And they should test that out? Because we know things are broken at 100%. They feel like they're too weak at 50%. What is this right here in the middle? 75 maybe we should test that. And it pisses me off because every single dev note, they say, oh, we've seen that things are too strong, so we're going to, uh, we're going to, like, fine, like, we're going to fine-tune them. We're going to slowly adjust them. No, you're not. All you're doing is reverting it. You're taking it from max to min, max to min. Like, no, obviously it's not going to feel balanced at either side because you keep testing the same thing over and over. We know how this is going to go. When every human being on this planet saw a magic missile back to 100%, everybody was like, oh, well, magic missile's back to nuking you. Like, GG. Good job, Iron Hammer. Thank you. Like, I just, it is so insane to me that it's like, like, sure, like, oh, you know, they're a small dev team. They're, like, working hard on it. This is a basic fucking concept. How do you not know the number 75 exists? How do you go 48, 49, 50, 100? That's not how the numbers work. There's a whole lot of numbers between 50 and 100 that you can test. And they just refuse to do it. And then they do things like give Wizard their invis back, which has been a giant issue before. When Wizard was already good. Like, they were already good even with the flicker invis because you still couldn't... Like, you could see where they were going. You could kill them in invis. Not reliably. Like, maybe if you got lucky... It's just, it's ridiculous. And then on top of that, they fixed Fire Mastery, so Fire Mastery works correctly for anti-heal. Just beyond dumb. I don't understand it at all. It's just like, I mean, these changes, it, I mean, I mean, I, everyone knows it. But it's very clear with these changes that they don't test any of these before they go to live. And also, they don't play their game, at least not much. Because any if anyone played their game, like, and you could have taken any top player and said like, hey, we need you to change wizard, and none of them would have said buff, unless they were griefing, but none of them would have said wizard needed buffs. Wizard was already way too strong, 
and it is just ridiculous to me that I got buffed. And I, the reason I'm talking so much on Wizard in particular is because Wizard shapes the entire meta with how strong it is. It's like you have to play around this character or you will lose. Not to mention, we still haven't got Chain Lightning fixed. That, that shit's been broken for months. Chain Lightning will still jump through walls and LOS on you and insta-kill your team. Why ain't we fixed that yet? Why is Chain Lightning still allowed to go to a dead body through a wall and fuck my mom right in front of me? Like, how does that work? How does that, like, why? They've even said it's an issue. They have said that Chain Lightning is not supposed to go through LOS, but they haven't fixed it. For fucking what? But anyways, that pretty much sums it up for the video. I just had to get that out because I had to bit, wanted to bitch a little bit about Wizards how they are. And I already know I'm going to have Wizard players in my comments like, haha, like, oh, wow, fighter player thinks Wizard shouldn't counter fire. If you say that, I want you to know from the depths of my heart, you are truly an idiot. Like, truly, truly an absolute clown. Like, you have a big red nose. I'm going to reach out and honk. Like, honk, honk, you're big red nose because you're a clown. But, yeah, that sums it up for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I might put out another video that goes over, like, team comps, but, I mean, nothing, there's nothing new. You know what's good. The generic stuff's always good, so I probably won't even do that. I'll pro but I'm gonna put out a more detailed fighter guide, so, if you enjoyed, feel free to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, comment if you want to. I always read the comments, so, feel free to ask me anything, or put your own thoughts or opinions out there. Unless your thoughts or opinion is not that Wizards OP, then don't even bother typing it, because I'm just gonna laugh at you. But yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.